good morning. It's 9.01, 9.02, and um, we're going to get started on the DDA informational meeting for October 9th, 2020. I'm Susie Stutt. I'm the Corey DDA Dahl. director. Corey Dahl, uh, DDA specialist. And uh, we are having our first in-person outdoor meeting. As you can see, we have a ton of people here. But we're going to tell you about uh, we're going to tell you about our programs, anyways. And if you've missed us in person or you've missed us at the initial Zoom, this will be posted online and recorded, so you can come and check us out that way. Um, we have, like I said, we have a few programs that we're going to talk to you about. Uh, the first is going to be, our, and it's all related around Shop Small, um, which is. Uh, Shop Small Saturday on November 28th. That happens every year on uh, the, the Saturday immediately following Thanksgiving. So Black Friday, Shop Small Saturday, and then Sunday is Small Artist Sunday, I believe, this year. So uh, last year we had an artisan market, which was a great success if you were there. Um, we had about two dozen vendors. We had a couple hundred people walking through our the Lake of Village Community Center, and it was an excellent time. Uh, as we all know, hi, we have some public. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, so we uh, this year, obviously, with the pandemic, things have kind of changed, and we are going to have an outdoor winter market. So while we're still planning uh, the whole day, um, we do have vendors that are interested. Corey, do you have anything to tell us about our vendors? We're, we're, looking, we're looking for vendors for our shop small event um, on the outdoor winter market. If you have any artisan uh, type of art or Good. ornaments or any holiday decor, please let us know. and. More than happy for you to see be part of our outdoor And we do have um, letters. Me. Letters are going to be going out, and um, you'll see some posts on our on the city's Facebook page. And a lot. Well. And um, a lot. You know, I see there's a lot. Um, and we'll be having letters on face. We'll have letters going out. We'll have Facebook posts and. Um, other information on the city's website um, about how to sign up um, and, you know, all of our DDA businesses should be familiar with the emails that Corey and I are sending. Sorry, we have little people here, too. Little people public. Anyways, also as part of the Shop Small Saturday event, we are doing uh, Lake of Village Business Bingo. And that is really, and that's going to, last year we did it, and it was strictly for My shop small the water is. Mommy, it's not out the here. Bagels? Do we have another bagel? Have another bagel. Ask Mr. Mayor if she would like one too. Sorry. Welcome to juggling remote school and work. All right, so last year we had business bingo, and that was, straight for just for the um the day of shop small and uh this year it's going to be a month-long event and we have we have it's going to take place from november november 1st all the way to the 20th 28th i'm sorry and that's when you'll turn in your business bingo cards at the winter outdoor winter market um again we're going to have um participating businesses. Um, we encourage you to have special deals going on that day. We also are going to have theme weeks. So the first weeks are restaurant week uh, for the first one. So you don't have to go to a restaurant that week, but we'll have hopefully some promotions and deals. Visit a restaurant that week. Um, and we have personal services, we have spots, um, massage, that type of thing. And then we will also have a health week. Related, 
So, um, again, same information will be going out for the business bingo as well as um, the shop small sampling. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is if you, maybe you don't want to participate as part of the business bingo, but maybe you want to, you have a little, a little something that you would like to donate for the, uh, the giveaway, because obviously bingo, you know, you get bingo, you can get a little prize. So when you fill your, you fill your card, you, have, you're, you will be entered to win the grand prize. So if you've got a little item that you'd like to contribute to our prize pool, please let us know. We welcome, we welcome those as well. Um, those are, well, those are the biggest initiatives that we have going on right now. Uh, we do have some other exciting initiatives. We just finished our Love and Lather Village uh, business relief mini grant program for uh, the last few months. So we were able to award 17 businesses a total of $34,000 and that will go to help them pay for PPE, cover their mortgage payments, um, utilities, payroll, really any of those other expenses. And since we have one of our fabulous board members over here, Pam Shermeyer, say hi, Pam. Hello, everybody. Yeah, she doesn't know it yet, but we're going to talk about it at the board at one of our upcoming board meetings to try and make this uh, mini grant program a permanent a permanent program of the DDI. We we got a, a lot of great response, and we know that this tough year still isn't over. So we're going to try and find a way to continue helping everyone else. Um, we will also be uh, installing some winter uh, winter streetscaping. We're gonna have, in addition to our Christmas decorations, or holiday decorations, sorry, holiday decorations that'll go up um, closer around Thanksgiving. We're also gonna have some new banners coming out. Uh, we're putting together some Love and Lather Village. Um, so Love and Lather Village swag. So we can have um, for all of our businesses and our shoppers and any new residents. Um, so we're working on some marketing promotion. And then in the spring, we're also going to be having some Hi. additional uh, streetscaping happening. And uh, stay tuned for some hugs. Bike, some hugs. Apparently. Hug, hug your family members. Um, and we are going to be having, uh, stay tuned, this, uh, the city and the TDA have been partnering on our non motorized transportation. Um, so we will be having some uh, bike route signage installed in spring um, and look for a coordinated event between the city and the DDA on that. Uh, Pam, do you have any, since you are our, our sole public participation, do you have any questions or other things that we should be talking about? I'm thirsty. We, uh, Susie and I recently sat in a, a, a Main Street USA uh, seminar, and uh, most of it was uh, good advice, although very general, uh, that this was reopened. But there was one kind of bizarre suggestion that stuck in my mind, and I'm passing it along just for what it's worth, and that is perhaps a new business could be uh, generated on creating Zoom clothing. Clothing for all of us that are on Zoom most of the day. Now that sounds a little bizarre to me, but it's, it's, it's the one thing that, that stood out in my mind. Uh, and they, the seminar really emphasized how we have to really rethink everything that's going on in uh, the business community, uh, different ways to perhaps share, um, like several restaurants could share a uh, like food court area, and maybe the city could be. So uh, I think uh, those kinds of uh, opportunities are out there. And more of us can take some of the charts and graphs and uh, other materials from this that, that might be useful to you. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, Pam. I'm glad you brought those up because I forgot. That, we, that was a really great seminar. Yeah. I, 
I know Corey and I both come up really good brainstorm ideas to you like, hey, let's do this. Let's find a way to add to art. Let's find a way to, you know, do a selfie spot, just try and get more people out and about. I mean, I guess I'm mixing up a couple of our different seminars we went to do this good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other thing is uh, there was renting um, business owners who own a building uh, might have different, might be able to just rent it out for the lease differently than their when their contracts are now. Just have short term leases that they rent out to people who want to use the building rather than have you know, like a year long lease for a business that may not be able to more of that, that right yeah. more of that co workspace kind of idea um since i assure you it's not easy working at home with kids <laughs> it really isn't in case you think it's an idea um so all great ideas and we will we will be working on that the tda actually is um we have been talking to mean street oakland county about the training opportunity that um that they announced at the end of that to try and help us with our recovery planning so uh hopefully we'll get going on that within the next month or so so awesome thanks Pam. all right well like i said at the beginning of our session if uh if you have any questions you are always um encouraged to call me at the office 248 five five seven two six zero zero extension two two three or best way at least for now is to send me an email um at s s t e c at lathamvillage.org or you can always call or email of course she doesn't have a phone yet um at c doll c d a h l at lathamvillage.org and um the two of us will be able to answer any of your dda and city related questions and um we look forward to making more awesome things happen in the city of Lathrop Village. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.